football at Manchester FC. He also recently launched his own foundation to help bring quality football coaching to underprivileged children. And here he is. Robbie, good morning. Good morning, Beck. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Especially with the news that... You know, youngsters can play from the 29th of March. Yeah, I was just going to ask you that. When you heard that, what what did it? What will it mean to, you know, some of the young people that are part of your foundation? Oh, it will mean an awful lot. First and foremost, I thought that maybe the Prime Minister would have brought grassroots sport out sooner um, because if children can mix in school in their bubbles, they'll congregate at break time, they'll congregate outside school, they'll go to school on the school bus, therefore mixing in their hundreds in the school um, environment. Um, I thought if that was the, would be the case, surely they'll be allowed to run around 5v5, 7v7, 9v9, 11v11 in the outside environment. Um, where physical activity can boost their immunity, it can improve their mental well-being, you know, and it can improve their concentration, which they're going to need ever so much now, especially after missing out on so much education. So I was hoping it was going to be early for all the youngsters, but, you know, I think the 29th leads it gives them a desire, something to work towards. Yeah. Um, and the most important thing, Becky, is now, though, that local councils, leisure centres, you know, keep their pitches free and open in the month of June because... Um, that'll allow um, youth leagues, grassroots leagues to finish because usually they shut down in June. You know, they, they, they look after their pitches, council pitches, yeah. um, and that wouldn't allow leagues to finish. So I think it's imperative that the season's extended till June and councils keep their pitches up. Tell me, Robbie, about the Savage Foundation. What, what did you set it up to do? Oh, to, to level the playing field, to give um, youngsters, regardless of ability or background, um, an opportunity to play, you know, in a wonderful new facility. We've got a Macclesfield FC. You know, Rob Smethers, the owner of, of Macclesfield, um, has given us seven and a half hours um, pitch time for free. Um, Macclesfield FC are going to create a Saturday morning league where the Savage Foundation kids will play for free, along with other grassroots teams in the community. Um, we've partnered with kitlocker.com who have given us kits, um, beautiful night kits for the foundation. Uh, we've partnered with Flat Cap Hotels who are a, a, a partner of ours as well. Um, Bazooka Gold, it's been so great. And the reason why I've done it is myself and Andrew Law, who, who's from the Law Family Charitable Foundation, um, have got the same ethos of that we want to level the playing field for all youngsters because the landscape of of the world's changed, Beck, as I'm sure we, we all know, and there'll be some youngsters coming out of this pandemic and, and some youngsters' families who won't be able to afford them mm. 150, 200 pounds a year to play in their grassroots clubs. So why should these youngsters miss out on a great opportunity yeah. um, to play, um, build new friendships um, in, a, in, a, in a wonderful environment? So... I'm delighted. We've had over 300 applicants back um, when we can start in April and because the pitch at Macclesfield will be finished in April. Um, they're going to have a wonderful experience. And the most important thing is they're going to have fun. Do you know, and, and so are you, and I can hear it. You know, I can hear the excitement in your voice about this project, Robbie. Yeah, I yeah, mean, you know, it's disappointing, really, when there was a, there's a bit of negativity, you know. Um, I think there's an article in... The local paper today is saying Savage in row with grassroots clubs, which is an absolute, um, it's ridiculous. You know, I'm in no row with any clubs. I think there's a bit of anxiety amongst grassroots clubs that I, um, the Savage Foundation will take all the local grassroots players. Well, that, that's an absolute ludicrous thought statement. A, you know, we don't want to do that. Um, B, it's an option for, for youngsters to play if their family circumstances have changed. And I'm in no row with any grassroots clubs. How can there be a row when you're providing free football for, you know, people who want to access and play football and play a sport? It's, it, honestly, it's, I wouldn't say it's upset me, but it's really, um, I just don't understand some people's um, thoughts and mentality when, you know, a headline on the front of a local paper today is going to be, I'm in a row with grassroots clubs.